Taylor Hall took the hockey world by storm in junior. Three dominant years in Windsor culminated in back-to-back -back Memorial Cup MVPs and set up draft day drama in 2010. Taylor versus Tyler. We're about to end the debate. From the Windsor Spitfires, Taylor Hall. Hall finished his rookie season with 22 goals and 42 points in 65 games, and he followed that up with a successful sophomore campaign until a laundry list of injuries hampered him. One of the most freakish injuries you'll ever see when he was stepped on, unfortunately. Then came the bad news again. Hit hard by Corey Sarge. So now he is suited in his civvies. That August, he signed a seven-year, $42 million extension with the Oilers and then played 45 of the 48 games in the shortened 2013 campaign, finishing ninth overall in league scoring. Hall was healthy again the following year, and he put up 80 points in 75 games. Taylor Hall's a human highlight reel. But this past season was a write-off for Hall and the Oilers. He missed 29 games with more injuries, and the Oilers finished third from the bottom. We all get a little frustrated with how it's going. But since then, everything's turned around in the city of champions. From the Erie Otters, Connor McDavid. A new regime, a new superstar, and a new lease on life. And if Hall can stay healthy, the playoffs are more than a possibility for the reloaded Oilers. Pleased to welcome Taylor Hall to the show. Taylor, given all the changes and additions, how is your mindset different this July compared to the last few summers? Oh, well, there's always been excitement in Edmonton, um, you know, with the core of players that we have. But, uh, you know, I think this year it seems a little bit different. It seems like there's a lot of hype, and, and that's a good thing and a bad thing as well. So, um, you know, we have to come into training camp uh, expecting a lot of ourselves. But, um, you know, uh, we, we got to come in humble and, and uh, try and surprise some teams. You sent out a tweet right after the draft lottery. Hey, McDavid, left shot, black tape, left side. Having some fun with the new kid right away. Have you met him? And what are your first impressions? Uh, since the draft, I haven't. But um, before that, uh, you know, we were together in a couple settings and uh, seems like a great kid, obviously a great player and, and a guy that's going to bring a lot to our franchise. He's 18 years old, but, um, you know, he seems special. So we're going to have to do a, a good job of supporting him and making sure that uh, he feels comfortable. Apart from McDavid, what would you rank as the single biggest, most positive change in the offseason? Um, you know, I, I think there's been a lot. Uh, you know, there was good people in charge before this summer, um, you know, really good people. But, um, you know, with the changes that we've made, I think, uh, you know, not only, you know, just personnel wise, but it puts pressure on us players to, uh, to change the way we play and, and the way we prepare. So. I think everyone's going to come into camp with, uh, you know, with a keen eye on, on how they can learn and how, how they can be a better player. When you make this many upgrades this quickly, the fans' excitement level goes through the roof and the expectations skyrocket as well. From someone on the inside, how far is this team, do you think, from being a serious contender for the playoffs? Uh, that's tough for me to say. Um, I'd love to say next year uh, you know, to contend for a playoff spot and and be in there come come April, come May would be a lot of fun, and and that's our that's our goal as a team. I, I don't think there's anything less. Um, you know, there's 30 teams in the league that think they can make the playoffs next year, so we're going to have to separate ourselves right away and and have some fun doing it. You've developed quite the relationship with Under Armour. Tell me about that partnership. Oh, it's a great partnership. Um, you know, I've had a lot of fun dealing with them the last few years and. Um, wearing these clothes in the summer and, and uh, you know under my gear during the season is uh, you know is a really uh, uh, you know a proud thing for me and um, you know the other athletes they have uh, from other other sports it's fun to watch them play and and know that we're with the same company. When you bump into Oilers fans in the summer, what's the conversation like that you have with them? Um, you know they always start with uh, you know with our new draft pick Connor and and uh, and everything like that and, and that's exciting for for him for our team and uh, you know it's also important for for people to know that we have a lot of other good prospects in our system and and uh, you know really good players on our team now that um, are looking to improve and, and uh, you know achieve bigger roles on, on our team and and have uh, have more success as a team so um, you know, it's great that we have uh, a lot of prospects and everything, but, um, you know, I think we're looking forward to proving that in training camp and, and starting off the season well. Taylor, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Thank you.